Today's activity is we're going to generate a graph using video physics. We'll use the data from the video physics and we'll put that into graphical analysis and it will generate the position time graph for us. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a video using the air disk with a one meter reference point. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. Then I'm going to walk you through using video physics to set the reference scale. Then you're going to set your x, y axis. And then each individual student will do this. And you'll see what I mean when I, uh, a little further on in the instructions. Each student, you're going to mark 10 data points. Then that student will generate an x, y graph into the graphical analysis. Then from that, you'll generate an equation for the x versus t graph. And you'll use that to find the velocity. Then student number two, if, it's, if you only have two, then that's all you have to do. If you have your three student group, then the third student will also do this. We do not have ten air disk, so that means you'll have to share, but that part of the, of the task is doesn't take very much time. So let's look at how we make the video with the air disk and the one meter reference. Okay, to make the video with the air disc, this is the air disc that we've used before, and the one meter reference. The one meter reference is just two tape marks that are exactly one meter apart. In the video example you're going to see in a minute, my, when I took the video, my air disc went straight over the marks. It really does not matter. This reference can be anywhere in the video. The only thing that matters for your reference points is that if you connect them with a straight line, the line of sight from your video should make hit the uh, line connecting your reference points perpendicularly. In other words, I don't want my video to be coming over from an angle and my reference points running this way. So if my reference points run this, I should take, instead of the person taking the video should be standing straight out perpendicular from that line. You'll get better results that way. There is a way you can kind of fix that, but it's just much easier if you do that from the beginning. So I turn my air disc on. And I'm going to want my air disc to go in the same direction as the reference point. I don't want it going crooked because this is the di this is the distance I'm going to measure. Now, actually, your video physics we'll see later. We'll be able to do an x and a y, but for this activity, we only want movement in the x direction. So in my video, I had the disc go straight across the points, you can do it that way, or, and the direction you use doesn't really matter, you can have as long as it's straight, it can be apart from the, it can be off the reference point. And that's all you have to do to make your video. So as you can see, we have to share air disk, it shouldn't take us very long, you set up your points as soon as you grab an air disk. You do it once, maybe take it. If you go crooked, you might have to do it again. But that's all you have to do to make the video. Now I'll show you how to set the reference scale, set your x, y axis, and actually mark the data.